Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Get the best quality out of DLSS using the DLSS Tweaks tool coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. Before we get started, I just want to say thank you to Diego from our Facebook group for letting me know of some of this information. In today's video, I will go over the DLSS Tweaks tool. This will allow us to change various settings for DLSS to give us a better picture or performance. I will first go over the application so you understand what it can do and some of the settings that I would change. We will then jump over to the website, download the tool, and then I will show you how to install it to make sure it's going to work for Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. If you have any comments or questions throughout today's video, make sure you post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. Before we jump into where to download and how to install this, let me go over the tool itself so you understand how to use it and what you can use it for. Now, all of the settings that are in this tool are not something that I use personally. There's a lot more in here that you can mess with and tweak, but in my experience, trying to tinker around with all of those really didn't get me anywhere. So let me show you exactly what I use in this tool. The first section that we're gonna head down to is DLSS quality levels. This section will allow us to change or alter any of the values for the preset DLSS qualities. It also allows us to add an additional quality level, which is ultra quality. To use this section, you need to enable it first. So you will highlight over yours will most likely say false, and then you will just select true. Now, like I said, you can change any of these values that you would like. So you can just go over, highlight, and then put whatever setting that you would like in there for that preset. What I would do for ultra quality is I would start out at 0.75 or 0.77 and then check your performance inside of Microsoft Flight Simulator because the higher you go in your quality level, the lower your performance will be. And that goes with any of the settings. The better we wanna make the picture quality, the worse our performance gets. So it's all a balancing act. If we go down to the next section, which is equally as important as the quality levels, this is our DLSS presets. The DLSS presets will change the way the AI interprets the image and thus gives us a different rendering quality and performance for our screen. Currently, the only two presets that are used in the updated DLL file, I'll go over that here in a second, is preset E and preset F. Preset E will give you a good balance of performance and quality and try to help reduce any ghosting. Now, if you're someone that is using quality or ultra quality, then you may wanna try preset F. I'm not telling you to not try preset F on performance. Matter of fact, I recommend that you try everything for your PC because you never know what's gonna be best for your system. But just keep in mind that the only two presets that we have available, even though all of these are listed, is preset E and preset F. Now the other neat thing about this section is that we can set different presets for different quality levels. So if you wanna jump back and forth between ultra quality and performance, then you can do that and set a different preset for that quality level. Below this is a compatibility section. I pretty much leave all of this as the way it is. And all the way at the bottom, these are some global settings and I really don't recommend setting any global settings. Now, once you're done making any of the changes here, all you need to do is to go up and left click on save and that's it, you're done. Now, boot up Microsoft Flight Sim, spawn in and enjoy your new settings. Before we go over the download and installation, I said that I was gonna go over the DLSS DLL file. Now, for those of you who haven't seen my DLSS swapper video, I will post links down below in the description. I'm not gonna go through a complete tutorial on this. The DLSS swapper tool allows us to change the default DLL file for any of our games or simulators. Now, this is good for any game or simulator. On the lower right-hand corner, this will show the current version of the DLL file you have installed. 
This is also important to make sure that you update this file every time there is an update to the simulator as it will revert back to the original version, which is 2.4.12. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's jump over to the website so I can show you where to get this. The website we're gonna be using today is Nexus Mods and links for this website will be down below in the description. To use or download any of the files on this website, you do need to create a profile, which is very quick and easy. There's no credit cards, nothing like that. Once you have that done and you're now on this web page, you can scroll down and read through this information. I feel it's some good reading material so you understand what you're going to be doing. However, we will be going through all the steps here so you won't miss anything. To download this, you're going to click on the manual download over here. And then you're gonna select whichever you have available to you, which I have to use the slow download method. Once the zip file downloads, you should have the DLSS tweaks as a zip file. So we're just gonna open that up. Now all we need to do is just to extract the zip files, and then it will extract everything to my downloads folder. In this list of files, at the very bottom, there is a readme. If we double click on this readme, this will give us some very important information about the tool itself and it will also tell us what we're going to be doing. The other very important piece of information in here is right here. So the normal way that you would install this is not going to work for 2024, and we have to make a file name change to get everything working properly. Okay, so now we have everything extracted. Now what do we do? We need to take all of these files that we have here, and we need to move them into the main folder for Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 that contains the executable file. This is gonna be the challenge for everyone because from what I've seen, Microsoft Flight Simulator has been in various locations. What I'm gonna do is show you the location for my main folder for Microsoft Flight Sim 2024. If yours is in a different location, it would be great if you could post that down below in the comments section, as that will probably help out a bunch of people. First, we're going to open File Explorer. I'm going to double click on my C drive. I'm going to go down to Xbox games, double click. And then I'm going to go to the limitless folder, left click there. Once we're here, I'm going to double click on content. And then I'm going to scroll all the way down and you should have Flight Simulator 2024.exe. This is the exe folder that we need to input all of these files. Before we get ahead of ourselves here, we don't want to copy any of these files over yet. What we're going to do is we're going to change the name of one of the files here. The nvngx.dll file, we need to change the name. If we go back to the readme text that I showed you earlier, the name that we're gonna be changing, the nvngx.dll file is right here. All you need to do is to right click and then we can copy. And now we're gonna come over to the nvngx.dll file, right click, and then we're gonna hit rename. And then we're just going to paste the name that we just copied. Now we have everything set up so we can copy all of these files into our Microsoft Flight Simulator main folder. So we just need to highlight left click, hold shift, and then left click on the last file. And then we're gonna drag all of these files into our Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 main folder. I'm not gonna do that because I have already done that. And now let me show you where my files are. The file that you wanna look for is DLSS tweaks config.exe and then you're going to double click on that to open. If this is your first time opening this, you may also be prompted to update the registry file to disable the NVIDIA checks. And you wanna make sure that you do that, so just click yes through that. And what that's gonna do is disable the system from checking your NVIDIA signature file. We also have those two files available inside of the main folder. Those are two of the files that we copied in there. However, when you open the DLSS tweaks config, it will automatically prompt you to do so. And if you haven't done that, it will say, hey, you haven't done that. You need to do it. Do you want us to do it now? Click yes, and it will enable the signature override. It will only do that on your first time opening. 
and then every other time that you want to make any changes, it will populate the application directly by just double clicking and there you go. One last note, you wanna make sure that you are not running the simulator when you are making any of the changes in the tweaks tool. Once you have made your changes and hit save and exit it out, and then you can open up the simulator and enjoy your new settings. All right, folks, that's it for today. Let me know how this worked out for you down below in the comment section. And if you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all of my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.